internal gap Nizalimieni Mungu awalinde sana Nasema kuna gap pengo ambao huanza ndani ya mtu linatokea nje Today we want to deal with the eternal gap it is mazed I said mazed it is mazed it is mazed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Nataka kuambia kitu Ni vingumu sana katika any man and woman of God inje yako umalize gap za inje kama gap ya moyo haijamalizwa if the gap of the heart is not filled it will reflect from outside mtu muoga dani kuna mahali uoga wa dani utakufikisha upande wa inje Mutu about dani yake hana nguvu that will reflect upande wa inje and tonight by the grace and the power of God we are going to address that hallelujah 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 now tukienda katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume chapter 4 wanafunzi wa Yesu Walianza huduma vizuri. And I tell you the ministry was complete and covered. Ukiona katika kitabu Matendo ya Mitume chapter 4 utaona kwamba Bible inasema verse 4 at is chapter 4 verse 4. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, that's okay. No, chapter 2. Let's start from chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse 4. Nasema hivi. Wote wakajazwa. Roho mtakatifu. Wakaanza kusema kwa lugha nyingine. Kama roho alivyo wajaria kutamuka. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in tongues, other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. And God is so kind. Kwa basiku hiyo, Peter aliposimama kudhibitisha injiri. Bible inasema, walio, walipo yasikia, haya, wakachomwa meo yao, Wakamabia Petero, what do we do? Haya, wakambiwa vila wataokoka. Na Bible nasema katika verse 41, walio pokea neno lake wakabatizwa. Na siku ile wakaogezeka watu wapata elfu tatu. Si jabo la kawaida. One day, kanisa kuogezeka washirika elfu tatu wameokoka na wamepatizwa. That's great victory. Hallelujah. Haya. The next step. Ukieta chapter 3. Utaona Peter. Akiingia kwa tempo. That's powerful. Chapter 3. Anapata. Satisa. Saza kusali. Kuningana the studio ya hudi. Wote wa meenda tempo. Na katika. Lango na hekaro. At the beautiful gate, there's this man, Adizaliwa Akiwa Lema, Akiwa Kiwete, Tagwazariwe, Hajui Kutebianini, Peter Namuangaria. That day, Peter Namuambia, gentlemen, silver and gold, we have none. Hallelujah. Petero Kamkazia Manto, Akamuambia, verse 6, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk Bible says that day Jamari Poponywa Kanisa ikaongezeka within that day Kanisa ikafika watu 5,000 
mighty victory. But that day, dio masadhendrin waliwaita. Na ikawa kwamba kesi kaaza. Wakaulizwa nyinyi sasa. By which name? By which authority are you doing this? It was a chance ya kuuda gap in the ministry na gap dani. And I tell you, my God will heal your heart and our heart. Uriaza biashara vizuri. Ukapiga hatua kama mitume. Ukapiga inkine. Lakini hatua ya tatu ya ine kifika. Kuna mambo ilianza. And you are never the same person Aliye Anza na Ujasiri I see people Who have that internal gap Hmm Well Ulijua Peter Ulijua watu Neza wakoka 3,000 In one morning Peter Ulijua watu Neza wakoka 2,000 In an afternoon Lakini chapter 4 Ilipo fika Peter na John Wameshikwa wameambua tutawaua nyinyi hii neno mnaita kristo kufufuka mtaacha na bible nasema now peter notice vile nimekuwa nikiendelea 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 there's something that now is coming in ha na that's why peter alijibu bere hiyo chama akasema verse 9 chapter 4 verse 9 tukiulizwa leo habari ya jabo jema aliyofanyiwa alio yule mtu dhaifu jinzi alivyoponywa jueni ni nyote watu wa Israeli kwa kuwa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo anasaleti ambao ninyi mnimsurubisha Mungu amemfufua and by his name this man is walking hallelujah ikawa shida Ukienda verse 13 ujasiri wa Peter ukaonekana. Ukienda verse 19 Peter anaambia hao masadukayo kwamba ni haki bele za Mungu kuwasikiliza ninyi kuliko Mungu. But verse 21 created a gap. Inasemaje? When the father threatened them. Now katika verse 21 Bible nasema they were threatened ah walipofunguliwa ikawa kwamba injiri sio vile ilikuwa beleni it was pure it was prevailing it was non stop it was full of capacity lakini wameambiwa tusikie tena mkistaja hiyo jina tutoashika na waliwatisha wakaambia we will kill you wakasema now things are not the way we think we are the threat i want to say something uliaza familia yako ukiwa na full heart but something came in even now the capacity unao ogoza your family now is the one, not the one you started with the devil want to destroy the formula of god's glory but tonight we are destroying the works of darkness the we ulianza hiyo shure na kuambia favor after favor glory after glory lakini tisho likatokea the way you run thing now hata moyo wako unauoga Hello. Hallelujah. Uliaza matatu yako ikiwa mpya. Mara siku ya kwanza inaingiza 9000. Siku ya pili 12000. Siku ya tatu ukaonewa wivu na matatu zote za maringo, matatu zote za bruburu. Ikawa ni kama diti yo na wakubwa wa polisi wameamua hiyo matatu tasimama imeteswa umeteswa mpaka moyo wako umeigizwa kitu huku nacho we want to remove the thing that uliingizwa it's not original and by the glory of god wapendwa mnanejea kwa original 
I tell you God has spoken to me. Hallelujah. Mungu ninamtumikia amen nenea. Any business about iko under threat. Any brother iko under threat. Any family iko under threat. We are coming back for full boldness. Tunarejea sasa. We want to deal with the gap. It's too much now. Ulifanya harusi zuri ya maana. Lakini kama kuna kitu kinakusumbua moyoni, nitasema harusi. Ulianza boma ukiwa hauna ubaya. But now the fullness of anointing, the fullness of move, the fullness of performance is no longer there. Na hauna ubaya, na hata ukitakaje. The way umekabwa na mambo you are unable to rise up uoge vile ulikuwa unaongea pale mwanzo wapendwa this is a meeting of anointing my god i pray that you restore somebody here my god i pray you restore somebody here my god i pray you restore somebody here nawaambia madeo mtarejeshwa kuna kitu uliwekwa ndani ambacho hata uinuke vipi uinuke vipi it always bring you down Na whatever baridi uliwe kwa dani, there's a demonic power iko upande wa inje to make sure iyo tisho imekaa dani na upande wa inje unakaa kama iyo tisho. Mm. Asa kujiada sasa, we are going to reduce, to reduce Satan now. Jesus, I want to give you praise. I thank God for the revival meeting. Mwana wa, mwana wa mungu apewe sifa. I give God for his grace. Mungu ni wajabu. Hallelujah. Haya skiza. Tumsikize. Hata walipofunguliwa na wakatishwa they went for a revival meeting. I want to urge you Jesus want you to go now not to preach not to do that business. God agetaka yo gap uliweko kwa moyo. Iishe leo. Mm, Iishe leo. Iishe leo. My God. I program ya shetani lazima iishe. Unakuta kuna musichana hapa. Ulikuwa uolewe vizuri. Actually, hatu wazako za kuolewa muanzo. They were so good. Ilifika pahali right now. Kuamini unaweza fanya arusi ya maana. Ukijaribu kufikiria. Kuna uchungu na kushusha. Hello, praise God. Do you know? Nyinyi mkua wa dogo na baba yako na mama. Your family was glorious. Liu iyo nyumba yenu. Kufikilia mahali mulitoka. Ufikilia utukuvu liyo pote. Hello, praise God. Your brothers and sisters, there is gap ambao ni kama shetani anataka iwe permanent bible says how waliposikia hayo matisho biblia inaniambia hivi walitoka hapo hawakuenda kuhubiri kwanza bible inasema verse 23 walipofunguliwa wakaenda kwa watu wao wakawapasa Habari ya mambo yote waliyoambiwa na wakuu wa makoe na wazee na waliposikia wakampasia Mungu sauti zao kwa moyo mmoja Isa mashakaraba hallelujah they lifted up their voice to God in one accord wakati huu wakaanza kusema mambo kadhaa wakasema e eh, bwana and opportunity verse 29 basi baba yaangalie matisho yao it's too much now uwajalie watumwa wako kunena neno lako kwa ujasiri wote kusiwe pahali kuna uoga oh hallelujah wajalie Watumishi wako Can we read this And now Lord Can we read it together And now Lord Behold their threatenings And grant unto thy servants That with all boldness They may speak thy word 
Hallelujah. Can we join together with the apostles? Uh, behold the threatenings, O God, and grant to me your servant that I am that with all boldness I will speak your word. With all boldness, Nitaongoza e family. With all boldness, Nitaongoza e biashara. With all boldness, Nitalea hawa toto. When ginapa umetishwa, pako na shidwa. Watoto to apreka wapi. Nataka to rejeshe with jasidu yonda. Oh my God. Was Chana Murio High School? Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to, you to rise up with the prophetic boldness. Na hata kama baba yako amesema hana nafasi ya kukupereka kwa maono uliyo muambia. Today we are restoring the boldness. Uliaza kuongea kwamba ukambia wazazi. Bishop wali niambia niamini. Nitaeda Harvard. Oh my God. Yare mambo unapitia. You can't mention that name again. Habari eno. Hallelujah. Wajua kulingana masomo yako. Watakua kupewa mushahara wakama elfu miambili. But anywhere umeajiriwa. Na ukona masters. Wanakupatia 50,000, 40,000. Umeenda kazi hapa. Wanakuambia is okay ni 40,000. Ukafikiri wede sijui kataa. Unakuta wa Arabu liyo pata kule hawaji maba ya limu. Unapewa roli uendeshe, unabua mshahandi that a thousand hakuna kuogeza. Ukichoka rudi nerobi. Umeedo karudi. Leo katika jina la Yesu watu wa bahati all the cycle tumepitia. Tumekusanyika hapa kama mkutano wa mitume. We are saying behold the dress of God. Na mbwana wa mabwana ni ejeshe ujasiri wote liyo potea. Ujasiri wote liyo potea. Bereni nikiambia watu maono yangu. Unakuto kiwa saisi ya kina joy. Ugesema mimi. Nitamalizia masomo yangu nikiwa professor. Now ukifika miaka 25 miaka thate. The voice disappeared. God. Reje share vijana wetu. Ujasiri wote. Wamaba walio nena wakiwa teenagers. Because they are not speaking lies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ulilea mtoto wako na mwe wako wote. And that's why this day mimi ni waza kuwabea vijana. Hey, ni meaza. Ni meaza. Hey, ata aharibike vipi. Kama sasa watoto wetu hapa, mimi nataka kurudisha hii mkutano. This meeting, amboi nandai, inasema, Behold their threats and grant your servant that with all boldness. Eh? Amen. Hata kama ni kimrefu na mnangani tutawekelea mikoli bia baba drain every foreign thing. Ujasiri wa hu mtoto urudi. Hallelujah. Mm, it's possible. It is possible wapendwa. Hallelujah. Tutamuingiza ndege tumuambia tumechukua work permit ayada kazi Canada. What do you think? Mututo memulea ukiwa na matumaini. Lakini amepata mibatatu za wanaume olio mdaganya. Wametumia siju witchcraft. U mtoto ananyosha mtoto. Some things are very painful. Ana mtoto hapa, ana mtoto hapa, ana mtoto hapa. The only thing that girl anafikiria is to get yet another better man na the same method. Unapata binti yako ana watoto watatu ameza inje ya door. Na right now, hallelujah, anatebea na kijanigina neighbor ni kama mepagawa na ako na addiction ya wanaume until now. Na ni mutoto ni damu yako umemulea. Unakuwa forced kabisa to accept the gap. Minataka tushike umutoto tumambia na utajazwa roho wa mungu tena, utaosho na dama yesu tena, na utadejeshewa the right might. Ni muambia mwenye likona mapepo tijui region, Bible says, adejeshewa the right might, na akawa clothed. Jesus bless our people. Jesus, I'm going to pray for every person here. 
Mungu wangu anisikie. Mtajeshewa ujasiri wote original. Anybody who has lost the original power, the original move, the original capacity, the original confession, we are claiming it. Mm. Anaweza bwana. Anaweza bwana. Anaweza bwana. Anaweza bwana. Twasema e eh, bwana. Tazama matisho yao. Kwa maana yambo. Tazama matisho ya ibirisi. Tazama matisho ya mapigo. Tazama vile dunia bwana. Imeinukia bidi yangu. Na mungu ni mekata kushidwa. Nijarie. Nijarie baba. Give me all boldness. Iri kuanzia leo. Nirejena ujasiri wote. Kwa kazi leo nitia. Kwa karama ulio nitia. Are you ready for this blessing? It's going to happen right now. Sharaba katarabosa. Shekerereba. Bible says God answers such a prayer. Now let me say something. If you check your Bible. When they said that. Ukienda verse 30. Wakasema hivi. The kind of threat. Tunapitia. Requires intervention of supernatural power. And what they demanded. Sio tu ukawaida tena. Nyosha mkono wako. To heal. And that signs and wonders may be done. Nata msikize. One of the things that uta, 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 uta gudua ni kwamba. Kuna. There are times we are so low. Na mungu nae. Agataka kuachilia mambo ya tabia yake. There are things that God you do. They are not just natural as usual. God you make the money you get. Sign and a wonder. And, 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 and the Bible says. Walipo die hivi. Kulitedeka kitu mali walipo kiobea. Bible na sema. Walipo kuwa wakiomba. Hallelujah. Mahali pale. Walipo kusanyika pakatikishwa. This kind of shaking, it shows three, four things. One, it shows the foundation of the kingdom in our Inukia is gone. Misingi, misingi, waliyo watisha, walisimama juu yake. Dio sasa wawaumize. Their foundation is destroyed. Number two. This kind of shaking inaonyesha kuna gome ambao imeisha. There's a stronghold that is gone. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe sana. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe sana. Jabo ringine this kind of sign shows kuna level ya guvu imekuja about si ya kawaida. That's why inatingiza ata dunia. From today, you have another level of power beyond what exists. Bwana inuwe sana. And that's why Bible nasema kwamba wakajazwa roho mtakatifu tena wakanena neno la Mungu kwa ujasiri wote nataka tuangalie kitu in the scripture let's check something in the scripture bible says this by the grace of god hallelujah bwana asifiwe mm -hmm. well, let it, uh, let's go something verse 33 three. verse that three. Bible na sema aha nataka tuangalie hapo na mitume wakatoa ushuhuda wa kufufuka kwake Yesu kwa guvu nyingi na neema nyingi ikawa juu ya wote Bwana asifiwe sana Bwana asifiwe na nataka aha muangalie the way God operates by his grace and his power. Now, wakati abapo this happened, the devil tried other means. If you read chapter 5, utaona what 
happened. Lakini chapter 5 verse 11. Bible inasema na hovu nyingi ikawapata kanisa lote na watu wote waliosikia haya mitume wakaponya na kwa mikono ya mitume zikafanyika ishara na maajabu mengi katika watu nao wa, na wote waliokuwako walikuwa kwa nia moja katika ukubwa wa Sulaimani haya nataka what happened from that moment badara ya mitume kutishwa wakaanza kuogopwa are you hearing this now there are times god changes you from being mtu wa kuingiliwa unakuwa sasa wewe ndio unavamia are you understanding hata wakati anania na safira walijaribu kuigiza unafiki walipata ile guvu mitume wako naye ni, ni guvu ambao ni ya kuagamiza unafiki and i want to tell you this in the name of the lord tonight mimi naamini na moyo wangu wote bwana aliye hai atainua kiwango ndani yako aboki tatokea nje because bible inasema dio hiyo gap ishe god did not start from out he started with the inside what did god do bible says nataka muangalie the sequence wakajazwa roho mtakatifu sawa sawa wakanena neno la mungu kwa ujasiri wote so it is started from inside haya what about outside wakati walikuwa wananena neno la Mungu kwa ujasiri wote na kule nje kukaanza kushake haya basama hivi na mitume wakatenda ishara nyingi na neema nyingi ikawa nao and now this time badra ya kanisa kuogezeka it multiplied na mitume wakaogopwa sana na ile chama ilikuwa mawashika ikaogopa now in Jesus Christ name kila mtu aliye kwa kanisa hili ulianza jabu kwa ujasiri ukafika pahali kukawa na matisho na kutoka wakati huo you are no longer in the same move Mungu alikuacha naye Leo nataka kukunenea and I'm going to pray for you. Bwana aniniambia abia kanisa I'm restoring the full boldness. I'm restoring the full boldness. Nasema God is restoring the full boldness. Matisho ambayo iko sasa hata kuchukua loan unaogopa but God is restoring the full boldness. Matisho iliyoko sasa. Amen. Ukikibia bio fulani unaona kama you are going to faint but watu wa Mungu mlio kwa ibada hii we are saying to the Lord God Almighty tazama matisho iliyo katika uchumi wa Kenya tazama matisho iliyo katika soko zetu tazama matisho inayotangazwa na redio lakini tumesema kama watu walio kwa revival Bwana tujalie sisi watumishi wako Tusiwa watumwa tena wa matisho haya. Utujalie kuwa na ujasiri wote. Unaohitajika sasa na kutoka sasa baba we go back to the boldness. Kama wewe na mjue Mungu anataka kazi, nitaombea. Yaani God you do miracles. I said God you do miracles. God you do miracles. Do you have faith? The God we serve you do miracles. In the body in this church ulianza kitu na bidii iwe ni marriage iwe ni business iwe ni kulea watoto na sahi ule ujasiri wote ulikuwa naye umeshushwa actually at a space ya kuogea maono uliokuwa naongea five years ago huna sasa ninakuombea na Mungu alienituma hiyo cheji na mtaona hii kanisa 
Mutafikiri watu ni kiburi wako nacho. Si kiburi. Kwa maana kuna wasichana hapa wataogea mabo abo huge fikiria weza ongea. Nasema kuna wazee hapa watanena na ujasiri mpaka uchidwe wanaongea kwani wao ni akina nani nasema Mungu ninamtumikia menena kwangu anarejeshea watu the original boldness i say wasichana wetu mlianza na maono ya kwenda bali kumaliza form 4 something struck you i tell you now Mungu ajue what to do kwa maana imani tuliyo naye sasa inasema we don't care about the threat lazima kutokee njia ya ujasiri ulioanza naye hallelujah Ulikuwa na maoni ya kunua gari ya maana na ni Mungu alikuweka. Mambo umepitia for the 2 years. You have withdrawn that. Kwa jia ya Mungu sio yako. Na kwambia kama una imani, ambia Bwana wedi uliogea kwa revival. We are going to pray and you must get that vehicle. Mungu wangu baba wangu. Watu hao wajue kwamba wewe ndio nani na leo. Watu hao Bwana wanajeshea. In the name of the Lord. Hata kama kuna mutu anatumiwa na pepo. Kina wakati ukutisha. Na kwa bia masedukayo. Uh, Sanhedrin walikuweko. Na wakawambia hamuta nena tena hindo jina. Musiseme yeso mefufuka. Na wakasema e mugu. Tujalie kitu cha kuzima hicho chao. Wakasema tujalie. Sisi watumwa wako. Sisi watumishi wako. Kwa ba kwa jina la yesu. Ishara zitedeke. Miujiza itedeke. Hallelujah. Badara ya wanafuzi kunyamaza. Bible says. Na wakashudia. Kufufuka kwa yesu. Na ishara nyingi zikatedeka. Kira wali ya boa siyoge. Wakaogea mara nyingi kabisa. Na haki gezimika. Ata yako utairudia. Father, I give you praise. Let's start for prayer. Father, I give you praise.